All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today I'm going to show you how to add a non-Steam game to your Steam library so that you can use Steam in order to launch it. And the simple answer is there is a button here in the lower left-hand corner that says Add a Game, and it gives you three different options. You can add a product from a game code, in order to, you know, redeem something that you bought from another store on Steam. You can browse the Steam store for games, which will just, I assume, take you to the store. Or you can add a non-Steam game that is already on your computer. Now, this doesn't actually require you to, like, add a game. You can actually add a piece of software on your computer if, for whatever reason, you want to be able to launch it from Steam. Because all this will do is give you access to the Steam overlay while you use that piece of software, and it will also al just allow Steam to launch it for you, rather than you double-clicking it somewhere on your computer. Uh, but in this case, I want to add Genshin Impact, because I know that's still lingering on this computer somewhere, and I can add the selected program to the list, and now if I type in Genshin, it's right here, you can see Genshin Impact. Now it won't have a bunch of pictures or related content or like a proper game feed like it would if I clicked any of my other games, but you will be able to press play and it will launch this program as if it's another game on Steam. So if you are done with having this game in your Steam library or something else happens like it, it's throwing an error when you try to run it, because the, the location has changed when you updated this game and you have to re-add it. All you have to do is right-click Genshin Impact in this case and go down to Manage, and then down here at the bottom it says Remove Non-Steam Game from Your Library. And then, just like that, the game is gone, and then you don't have to worry about it anymore. So I hope you found this helpful. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody. And have a good one.